is that if you look at this triangle here, you'll notice that one of the uh, sides of the triangle goes through the center. So it's essentially it's the diameter of the triangle. Uh, and then there's another vertex up here, which you can see. Um, the first theorem is the fact that this angle here always has to be 90 degrees. And you can summarize it as the angle in a semicircle. So there's your semicircle here at the top um, is always a right angle. Um, and it sounds a bit vague to say the angle in a semicircle because it's actually it's a triangle inside a semicircle where one side is the diameter and the other side is a vertex on the circumference. Luckily, you don't have to say that in the exam. If you spot something like this in a um, in a question, you just have to say the angle in a semicircle is a right angle, and that's good enough. So let's look at some examples of this. Okay, so you can see. I can move this point P around and it stays at 90 degrees. And there's certain properties that apply here that I've already mentioned. Um, we can, what happens is if we move this line away from the center, that angle is no longer 90 degrees. Um, and obviously you can see that this line AB do, no, no longer splits the circle into two semicircles. It's actually just, it's just two uh, segments. Um, if it does happen to line up with the diameter, uh, you end up with a 90 degree angle, no matter how this moves around. So again, if I just move that off, you'll see, um, you will see the angle will not work. Well, it looks like this is not working. Okay. So let's prove why it works. So you can start off with a circle. You can draw a triangle in a semicircle here. Um, these are the type of proofs that you guys are going to need to be able to uh, do from scratch. So let's say we have a triangle like this. We can draw a line from O to C and you end up with, what you may have already realized is you end up with three different radii so you can see they're labeled here because they're radii because they go from the center to the circumference we know they're the same length we also happen to have two isosceles triangles the things that i said were really important in the previous videos so we can say well if this angle is x well this triangle here ocb well at angle ocb is also going to be x as well and then we can also say for this triangle, A, C, O, well, if this is Y, well, then that must also be Y. Now, we get, end up with, technically, we have three different triangles. We've got this triangle here. We've got this triangle here in the blue. And then we've actually just got one big triangle, which I've just drawn around just so you can see it clearly. So if you think about the big triangle, we can also say that this angle here plus both of those added up plus this have to equal 180 degrees because that's one triangle. And we can then put that into, into writing here. And this is how you prove this idea of circle theorem proof. The angle of sum for the triangle ABC is equal to 2x plus 2y. And then you can factorize the two out. So you end up with two brackets, x plus y. And then if you divide both sides by two, you end up with x plus y is 90. And then from the diagram, you can see, no matter how I would have drawn that triangle, my x plus y is gonna end up being that angle there and it's gonna end up being 90 degrees. And that is your proof. So before we move on to um, a few, exa few more examples for this, I want you to have a go at reproducing the proof I just showed you from memory. So without looking back, it's fine if you make any small mistakes at this point. So let's just say you're given a blank circle and you have to produce the proof that I just showed you. So pause the video and have a go. Even if you've uh, made notes of it, just try to do the whole thing from scratch. Okay, so this is what you should have come up with. You already also obviously have your notes. So let's do an example. 
Okay, so working through these with me, you can see that um, to work out the first answer, uh, we have a line that we have a diameter given. We also know this is a, a triangle in a semicircle, so that has to be 90 degrees. And then from that, we can work out x. So we can do 180, take away 55, um, take away 90, and that will give you uh, 35. So question two, have a go with this. Okay, uh, now I'm gonna go through the answer with you. So again, um, even though there's a line, the um, OB there, which is a bit of a distraction, we don't really need to worry about that line. We know that this angle here is 90. So we're just gonna label that 90. And then it becomes 180, take away 90, take away 26, or in other words, 90, take away uh, 26. And you should have got 64. And then one final example, so have a go here. Take a second to do the question and then play the video. Okay, we're gonna go through this one now. So we can see that we have, again, we have a line that goes through the center. So that's really important. Don't get um, tricked into um, making any silly mistakes uh, by forgetting that later on. Uh, and then you know that this angle here has to be 90. We know that's 43. And then this is just angles on a straight line because it's a tangent. So this means we're gonna have angles on a straight line, which is 180, take away 90, take away 43, and that will leave you with your final answer, which is 47. Okay, so we'll look at the next uh, proof in the next video.